All right. Hello, everybody. This is Fravis here. Surprise me! <laughs> what an awesome name. Oh, what a cool guy. Um, uh, this is probably the last... Oh, I'm definitely keeping this. This is probably the last time I'm going to play this because, uh, I mean, I've, I've been suffering a lot recently with this fucking deck, and I hate Mill. I, I just hate it. I don't want to play it anymore. I don't think you can make this deck right now, at least with the... Uh, at least with the colors that I got. Maybe other colors can work better. Maybe if you splash some red in here or just have it full control. Maybe like um, blue, black, red. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. It, it's just a mess right now. I don't want to show them that I have, uh, have blue yet. Do I want to take two here? Yeah. I'll take the two. I'm assuming that the that surprised me is running artifacts right now. Red, blue, and he drops an artifact on turn two. That seems seems like that's what's going to happen. So th honestly, this deck is really kind of bumming me out. I'm sort of done. <laughs> that's, that's all I got to say. That's it. Uh, I'm I'm going to be moving on to something interesting. Hopefully, some suggestions. Actually, you know what? You know what I really want to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing tutelage now. I really want to go on the subreddit for this game, which is Magic Duels, and I'm gonna start picking out community decks, people decks that people have made and have been upvoted fairly well, and I want to go test them out, maybe see how they run, if they're unique, if they're interesting. So it's gonna be. I, I think it's going to be more interesting because obviously a whole community is going to be thinking of things that I alone can't think of. So hopefully there's going to be a lot of variety and more interesting things. And, you know, maybe maybe people might enjoy seeing their decks get showcased and shit. I, I certainly did when uh, Hakeem did one of mine. It made me fairly happy. <clears throat> I almost want to get greedy and do a languish, but I know once he starts dropping like double red and double blue, I'm going to start seeing some serious problems. So I'm just going to hit this guy with this. I'm not going to do the languish. I think that would be silly right now. Just looking for a blue. I don't want to hit that with uh, whatever the hell this card is, Reef Soul. I'll take a few more damage from it before I really get worried. Alrighty. I really wish I had a double blue for that Drake. Esper Zoozers. I wonder what you're picking up. Um, I think Reef Soul is a perfect... Ooh. Actually, oh, it's a guild gate. Um, yeah, Reef Soul's going on. I can't hit that because he's four in the face. <laughs> I am bad, and... That's probably why I shouldn't be doing community decks, because I'm going to butcher them. But fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway. I, I really want to. He's going to get a free card here. He's got four mana. But he's kind of shitty on the colors. Which is really freaking me out. I don't want to dump my own language, but to stop this 4-3, I think I have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm still taking two damage from this guy. I think I fucked this up. Come on, man. Drop something. Nope. Well, actually, I could just do this. I will. I just don't want to use that language now. I mean, I, he's got a million cards in his hand, he's got plenty of shit, and I'm supposed to be a fucking control. Disperse. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I shouldn't have been greedy, but I am. I'm very greedy. Alright, surprise me. You got me, man. You had this 
it's it, it's sort of a good combo, but it's also it could be a bad combo. Right now, it's working out for him really well. I used to do this, um, but I realized that it took up just too many resources. This is two two mana a turn, so you essentially are running two turns behind when it comes to how much mana you can generate. But I mean, the trade-off is you get an extra card and you have a 4-3 out, so if it's worth it, it's worth it, obviously. I mean, I have no choice. I have to languish here. If he has another Disperse, I'm just dead. I really didn't want to do that. I was hoping to get a lot more value. Eh, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm dead. Good game, man. Nice artifact deck. I played so poorly. I know I did. I know I did, but you know what? I'm playing a mill deck, so that sort of goes with the territory, right? It has to. I, I'm so sick of that mill deck. Oh, do I just try to fix it? No, no, I'm not gonna try to fix it. I'm not gonna spend any more time on that shit. I'm gonna play two more games with it, and then I'm I'm done with it until I find something better. Or until the next expansion, Zendikar, comes out and we see if we get better cards. I don't think the cards got released yet. No, they just released the game. Why would they release the cards for the expansion? That would be wonky. Camper King, I've played him. I know this guy. Uh, this is awful. This is way better. Like, a lot better. Oh my god. I have a shot, and I'm on the play. Holy crap, I can't believe I'm on the play. I have a shot at this. If I don't fuck it up, I might actually win. He is aggro to a degree. Uh, so unfortunately, Rune Servitor is coming out. Don't want to drop my black. I don't need to drop my black. And I don't need to have double black until turn four. For Languish. So my turn twos can both be islands. And I don't have to show him my second color. Not blocking that. That's a nice card. Alright, so he's probably going the mono red um, pure aggro. Which means I'm I'm probably not going to swing. And now that I have I mean I have two Sphinx tutelages and a Jay, so. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I can actually win with a mill. Yeah, this guy's straight red deck wins. Uh, I have no languish, no real control in the board other than these two fours, I guess. I would like to start popping his smaller creatures. If he aims that at me, that's fine. If he puts it to my face, that's also fine. I'm assuming he might put it to my face. He's got a decision here. If he wants to just try to rush me down, he'll go to the face. If he wants to have some kind of board control... Alright, this is what he's doing. So, that that gives me some information. That means that he's going to go completely all out into my shitter. And that makes me want to put down my Drake over my Tutelage. Because Tutelage will help me set up, but I have to take care of this board before I can even do anything legit. Uh, this guy's definitely a target right now. I'll definitely be double blocking this guy. Because he can, he can buff it up real fast. Like, if he puts that uh, plus three, plus one instant card on it, then it becomes uh, like a six, four. Or twin bolt one of these guys. Yeah, that'll do it, too. He's hitting this, right? Is he hitting my face? Why didn't he kill my creature? What the hell did he do? Alright, that was really weird. He could have killed my Rune Servitor, buffed this up to a 3-3, and then the Dark, the dark Drake wouldn't uh, kill him. But he decided to done goof there. 
I'm not sure if I want to swing. Because I know he's got instances in there that I'm probably going to want to block up. And I, and I don't and with two tutelages out, if he has any answer for this, um, I'm shit. If he has an answer for, I don't think he does. I don't think Solid Red has a single thing to do with this. This is actually looking really good for me. I'm not doing shit, man. This is just sitting right here. This is my fucking wall, baby. Twin Bolt, one of them. Oh, you're still going for the face. Okay. I know he's trying to rush me down real hard. Oh, that's that's getting a languish. That needs to be taken care of. That'll get trampled, I think, right? Oh no, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Actually, maybe I'll be okay without without language right now. And I don't want to drop Jace until like a five in the yard. If I can keep this wall going, I'm okay. I'm open to a um, active treason right now. He's still going for the face. He's only got 12 cards left. I've almost got this guy. Should I languish? Let's see. If I grab my uh, inspiration back... Ah, there's no need for that. I guess technically I should swing. No, there's no reason to. I have two cards drawing and that's enough to kill him. Oh shit, I got him with the languish. Nice. I don't know why I'm wasting time attacking. It's just habit, you know? Like, I, I can't kill all of my creatures <laughs> without... Oh, he's gone. Wow, I can't believe I got this guy. Alright, thanks a lot, Camper King. You, um, you got the red deck win, and you didn't win. That sucks. I built this, uh, played it three times, and then didn't play it again. <laughs> I didn't. I never liked it. I thought it was just a little too simple. But, um, I mean, it's really tough to... If I got two Sphinx's tutelages in hand, I mean, you're, you're just fucked, right? There's almost nothing it can do. GG, friend. All right, let's see if I can um, get one last win with this guy. Probably not. <clears throat> Look at this. I should be at 40, man. Whatever. I'm not, like, too pissy about it. But I have a feeling th there's a bug in the game right now that if you shut down the game, the entire program, you don't lose rank. And that's really bullshit, so it makes a lot of people fly upwards into the ranking system. I got that to happen to me on accident. Uh, I think it was on, on camera. I think I have it on one of my past episodes. Where the game just totally crashed. It shut down. Maybe I should have kept that. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wh what? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to mull down to one and then concede so this guy can actually win against that fucking computer <laughs> because that was just embarrassing that's just embarrassing I mean in retrospect maybe that that one million lander wasn't so bad I'm done with this deck man I, it's not even really that clever of a deck. It's just mostly a whole bunch of control cards, a lot of draw, and three fucking mill, mill cards. Uh, the only three mill cards that even matter. All the other ones don't make that much of a difference. Or at least are just so shitty that I can't justify putting them in here. 
So I, I, don't, I don't know if, I mean, look, normally I don't like mill decks anyway, but I think it's pretty wacky, so I went for it, man. I, I want to give it a shot. I mean, that's this whole that's the whole reason I'm considering, like, a fucking life gain deck. Like, there's no way to win through life gain. It's an awful card, or it's an awful uh, tactic. You really shouldn't build a deck around that, but, eh, it sounds wild. I want to try it. I want to put things into the meta that I don't care if they don't win, they're fun. And I did that with the mill deck, and the mill deck still isn't really that fun. I'm scared of even throwing this down. I'd really rather have three cards, but at least I have... I have some control, and I've got a little guy in here. I've got a couple of plays, and if I... I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna put the guild gate down first. Because I have turn two plays. I could just do swamp swamp, but I want just in case I, I don't if I get a third swamp, then I'm not gonna be able to put down Sphinx's tutelage on time. Artifacts again? Alright. Artifacts are pretty rampant, and that's that's the main alright. I love artifact decks. That's literally my favorite kind of deck in all of Magic the Gathering. But I don't want to play it, or my particular artifact deck, because it's so prevalent in this meta. And it makes me feel bad. Like, I want to play it, but everybody's going to see it and they're going to be like, Oh god, you're just some fucking noob who's playing artifacts now. And it's like, yeah, I'm a noob, and I am playing artifacts, so technically you're correct, but fuck you, I'm going to go cry in a corner. What's the answer here? I really... I, I'll take the two. I need I need to set this up. This is my only win condition. It needs to be out. I'm pretty surprised that he dropped uh, the Chief of the Foundry before anything else. Maybe he's got the Haster? No, Whirler Rogue. That's really weird. I've, I've, I don't usually see that. It's kind of scary. Maybe he's not worried about uh, the Mirror Colors. I'll take the two, I don't care. Actually, I should have blocked that. I, whatever, doesn't matter. Let me try to get some board control. I really want an untapped land right now. Damn. Okay, this guy has to die. If he swings with the Whirler Rogue, that would be funny. I'll just hold it back. That's why you don't normally want to drop Chief of the Foundry, because he could have done nothing, then played the Whirler Rogue, and then now on his turn he could drop Chief of the Foundry and hit me for two more. But now he's only going to hit me for one more because of the Thopter. I don't know, I, I, I didn't like that play. Uh, looking for a Languish after I get another land, preferably an Island. I mean, if I get the Languish, I have a really good chance of winning. If I don't, then I'm going to lose. It's, there, there's no strategy involved in this. This is it. It's 100% luck. Alright, that's not true. There, there's a little strategy involved. Damn, that's not an island. But, at least I can do this. For whatever this is worth. I should have done that post-combat. But it's not like he's going to block. Well, it would, he can't block. I mean, he can block. He'll block with a 1-3 and then nothing will happen. Then I'll just have a tap 2-2. Two, two. If I get a land next turn, I think he Unholy Hunger on the 1-3. I don't really care about the World of Rogue's ability yet. Not a lot of people run Sigil of Valor. So, I'm... I'm, I'm just not worried about it. Sigil of Valor plus Whirler Rogue means an unstoppable, in this case, 5-5 five, five coming at me every turn. Not that it even has to do that, because I don't have flyers to protect it anyway. Everybody runs Mir Perilous Mirror. 
you have to. If you don't run it, you're you just made a bad deck. Chase, you're not. You're no man. But you're my only play. I think I, I just lost. Like I didn't. I mean, I need to put Chase down. If he has a twin bolt for it, then I'm fucked. I don't think he does. He might have hit uh, one of my servitors instead, but they're not really a threat to him. Maybe he's just saving it. I really need that languish yesterday. Dude, wh what are you doing, man? It's only five damage. You can you can take it, and then swing in t to me much more. I, I don't I don't agree with that at all. Oh come on, dude! Really? You're gonna lose your th haster. Why'd you do that, dude? This was dumb. This was dumb. You could have easily taken all that and then swung straight into me for way more than I'm hitting you for. This two, right? I'll do them both. I mean, unless he has another haster, I guess. Then it just doesn't matter. But at, at that point, he was only stopping two damage anyway. Like, who cares? That's great. Really, that sucks. <laughs> and there's no way to stop that either. So he's going to get the card, and he will always get the thopters, even if I deal with this, because I have no artifact destruction. Actually, if I had artifact destruction, I wouldn't hit this thing. I would hit the... Uh, I mean, most artifact destruction has enchantment destruction tied into it. I guess not most of it, but I think most of the things in this format do. I mean, if I get the languish, I can win this. But I didn't even grab my card draw. What are we waiting for, man? You got one land open. Are you, like, worried? I'm gonna do this main phase so I can get a land. No. I'm gonna do this first. That's not really the land I wanted. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. This, this can work. Alright, that's nice. Watch him disperse that. He runs disperse, right? You should. Um, well, I don't see it. It's not like they're blocking. Hmm. He's running counters, sort of. This thing. Not sure what else he would have this in here for. got me for three. That could do it. I mean, I'm not stopping this. This this is unstoppable. And look at all the cards that he's got in his hand. I'm so fucked here. I wish he was going with this a little faster, as though there's something to think about. That's... that's game. I can't afford all of that. Nope. Huh. Somebody might have done a bad thing. You know what that is? I live next to a college, and um, pretty much every week, a 
kid in the basement of one of the dorms will burn some popcorn and set off the fire alarms. And you know what happens after that, man. Fucking all hell breaks loose. I'm not even gonna... Whatever. You win. Good job. You beat me. Alright. Um, I'm completely done with this deck. I, I hate it. It's awful. It's not a good control deck at all. And I'm just done with it. It's just done done. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm... Bye.